After the endoscope is removed and with the vacuum pump turned off, advance the Bravo delivery system through the patient's mouth to 6 centimeters above the predetermined squamo-columnar junction. For proper insertion, the capsule should be facing the tongue. After the capsule is properly placed, attach the pump tubing to the delivery system and turn on the vacuum. Achieve a stabilized pressure of at least 510 millimeters of mercury and hold for 30 seconds to ensure a proper seal with tissue. If this is not achieved, reposition the delivery system for a proper seal. The attachment procedure is designed to be done with one hand. Avoid using two hands because over-torquing can result in breaking the plunger. To begin the attachment step, first remove the white safety tab. Next, verify the white line on the plunger is aligned with the downward pointing arrow on the handle grip. Then, swiftly, firmly, and completely depress the plunger until it locks in place. The plunger is locked when a click is heard and or if the plunger cannot spring back. Depressing too slowly or incompletely can cause attachment problems. Next, turn the plunger head clockwise about one-eighth of a turn or 45 degrees. When rotating the plunger head, do not over-rotate the plunger beyond the upward pointing white line as this could cause the plunger to fracture. When the plunger head is rotated, an internal spring will automatically push the plunger back and will release the capsule from the delivery system. Next, verify that the plunger has been fully retracted. If fully retracted, a white line on the plunger shaft will be visible. If this white line is not visible, use your thumb to raise the plunger head. When the plunger is fully retracted, the capsule has been disengaged from the delivery system. Power off the vacuum. Carefully and slowly withdraw the delivery system and discard it according to your local waste management guidelines. If the plunger breaks and cannot be retracted, or if the delivery system will not release from the capsule, see the troubleshooting section of the Bravo delivery system instructions for use for further instructions. If desired, capsule attachment can be confirmed by reinserting the endoscope into the patient's esophagus. Remember to avoid contact between the capsule and the endoscope. Important! Verify the capsule has not been inadvertently attached to the trachea or lung.